and welcome back to Let's Talk. So this is a series that me and Stamps do on the Magic Animal Club. Stamps has done a couple of episodes before talking about various topics and today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to try and cover bullying. Now there is two types of bullying, well there's probably more types, but there's two main types. So uh, you've got online bullying and you've got kind of like in real life bullying. So Stamps next week is going to cover the online side. Today I'm basically just going to cover the in real life side of bullying. Now don't worry, all these topics aren't going to be uh, kind of like about this stuff. We are going to have some light hearted topics in the future, but we kind of want to get into these topics which not a lot of people are that confident to speak about and that's why we are going to try and give our maybe some experience and maybe some advice about the topics and uh, hopefully help some of you guys out which may be going through it. I know a lot of you are in maybe primary, primary school or high school and stuff like that and um, them that time in your life is very, very hard. You, you know, you're going through uh, puberty, you're going through a lot of kids that have a lot of hormones rushing about. And unfortunately, uh, in the case of bullying, kids like to take it out on other kids, which is what bullying is, pretty much. Now, there's different types, as I mentioned. There is physical bullying, which is... I was going to say, I was going to level them different, but to be honest, physical and verbal can both be pretty damaging. Um, you know, if you've got health problem, mental health problems, uh, verbal abuse and verbal bullying can be basically the same sort of, maybe even more damaging than physical abuse. So it's really, depending on who you are, depends on how it affects you differently uh, and kind of like which one's worse. But yeah, um, so what I'm gonna talk about today is I'm gonna talk about an experience uh, from me. So way back in junior school, uh, when I was about, I don't know when it, what age I was, it was like year seven, so it would have been probably about 10, 11 years old, maybe even, probably about 10 or 11 years old, but I had a hard time from a kid uh, who was in my class, and it'd been going on a couple of years, um, from, you know, just pretty much verbal abuse, um, but then it got to a certain point where um, we actually got in a fight, and after, uh, I kind of retaliated uh, back to him. That's when the bullying stopped. So from my experience, um, actually retaliating back to bullies uh, worked for me. And I'm not saying this is the option. I'm not saying this is the go-to option. Um, I'm not saying uh, violence should ever be an option. Um, but yeah, that was basically my experience. So uh, I'm gonna give you uh, some examples of what you can do if you uh, are being bullied or you know someone that is being bullied. So one of the things that you can do uh, is you can tell a teacher or an adult or a parent or maybe even a friend so they can help out and tell someone else. Now, this is a little bit tricky because telling an adult or telling the teacher uh, or a parent or anything like that this can sometimes make things worse. Now what I mean by that is, it depends what, what age group you are, but some kids can, um, you know, basically use that against you. Like, it can make things worse if you find if they find out that you are telling a parent or an adult. But that is one of the things. If you think that's gonna help, and it sometimes it does help, going to someone and talking about it, just talking about your problem, letting them know that it's happening to you, um, they can solve it, you know, if, if the kid that's doing it is in your class, you know, they can move the kid, you know, or anything like that. I mean, and it doesn't even have to apply to kids. I mean, it happens with adults as well in the workplace. Um, it's just not a, not a very nice thing, unfortunately. Um, but definitely telling a, a higher advisor or a higher senior uh, like staff or anything like that, that can, that can help quite a lot. The second thing as well is actually uh, evidence. Uh, I know that might sound a really bit dodgy, but if you write things down and you try and keep track of what the person is doing or um, when it's happening or, you know, stuff like that, this is really important to then take to someone and say, look, this is when these things are actually happening. Um, you know, having proof, uh, it can help quite a lot and um, it can really build a case up against the person that's doing it here. Um, there's ways to go about it as well. Um, some people trying to trying to act differently. You know, if you're a person that maybe, you know, keeps their head down in class and tries to get on with stuff, people, bullies, try to pick on people uh, that are, you know, they, they think's quite weak or they think's an easy target. Um, making yourself, you know, even if you're not confident, trying to come across confident can 
be a, a great help towards actually not getting bullied or trying to avoid it. So, you know, maybe if you're a, one of them, like a kid that maybe isn't that confident in class or just walking about, or just making friends in general, sometimes acting more confident can actually make you feel and be more confident. So, you know, when you're walking into a classroom next or, you know, whether you're trying to, you know, make some new friends, just, you know, get your posture up, walk, you know, walk confident, I guess, and try and, um, you know, try and be a little bit more uh, outgoing and um, yeah, just try and act differently. Even though if it's not you, um, it's just one of them things that can literally uh, help you get through, you know, school or high school or just in life in general, especially um, with, I know, we I know Stampy did a confidence talk, but um, trying to actually act confident for me when we were going to conventions and on stage, especially a lot of stage work, just acting confident and believing that you are confident can like trick your mind and you know, you actually get a lot more confident by acting confident if that makes sense. So definitely change the way you you know you are, change the, try not to make yourself an easy target, trying to make yourself maybe something that you're not in the sense of you know, being a little bit more, you know, um, you don't wanna mess with me type of person. Even though if you're not that, I mean that can, you know, obviously help. So yeah, that that's, um, that's definitely uh, a way to look at it. Another thing that can help is um, maybe take classes as well. Uh, and what I mean by classes is I mean uh, like activity, uh, after school club, stuff like that. If you, there's people in your school, in your high school, and you don't have many friends, a great way to make friends is by doing uh, activities and stuff uh, that basically forces you into a situation with other people to make friends. You know, if you don't have many friends in high school and you find it hard to make friends, a common ground such as, I don't know, playing bas like basketball or football or book reading club or anything like that, as long as you have friends, the problem can be a lot easier, um, you know, if you have a friend there or if you have a group of friends that can stick up for you. Um, so try and branch yourself out, just try and, you know, try and do more things, I guess. And there's one more thing, if it gets to the certain point, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say go and do this, this is uh, not good advice, um, but it is people can try and turn the backs on it and try and say, you know, that's just not good advice at all, but actually retaliating um, and facing bullies can sometimes help. Like uh, a lot of bullies, as I said, pick on weaker people. They pick on people that they know that they can uh, mess around and, and call names to and stuff like that because they know you're not gonna do anything. Half of the time, if you actually retaliate and say something back or as I say, violence isn't the key, but if you do, you know, you know, if you go, if you do that thing and you actually, you know, hit them back, then nine times out of ten, um, yeah, bullies will think twice about actually um, messing with you again. So, yeah, that's my advice, guys. Um, as I say, next week Stampy is going to be covering online bullying, so make sure you check that out. But for now, my name's Squid. Hope this has enjoyed. I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, also. If you want us to cover any other topics, make sure you write them in the comment section below and we'll try to cover them in a future episode. But yeah, see you later. Bye.